In the previous videos, we have been discussing about the complement pathway driven through classical and alternative pathway. And now in this video, we'll be discussing about the lectin pathway of complement system. The lectin pathway of complement system is also antibody independent pathway, just like the classical pathway. And this pathway has similarities with classical pathways also. It's initiated by pathogen membrane containing carbohydrates like mannose. In this lactin pathway, we have some components that drive this pathway. Like we have the MBL, which is the mannose binding lactin. It's a lactin compound which binds with the mannose of pathogen. Then we have MASP1, which is the MBL associated protease 1. And there is MASP2 also. We see here the MASP1 is analogous to C1R of classical pathway, while as MASP2 is analogous to C1S of classical pathway. All the three components join together and form a complex on pathogen membrane during lectin pathway. And that complex is like C1 complex of classical pathway, which is the C1Q or 2S2. And this complex has proteasomal activity on complement proteins, which we are going to see in a detailed manner in the pathway. Now let's discuss this pathway in detail. In this diagram, we see we have a microbe which is having carbohydrates in the form of mannose on its membrane. Then we have lactin molecule which has capability to bind mannose. So it's termed as MBL, that's mannose binding lactin. The MBL gets to the pathogen membrane and binds the mannose as shown in the animation. And in the next step, we have MASP1 and MASP2, which then binds to the MBL mannose complex as shown in the figure. And the final complex so formed is C1-like complex, which acts like the C1Q or 2S2 of classical pathway. Now this C1-like complex acts on complement proteins. And first of all, we see the C4 protein gets fragmented into C4A and C4B. Then this enzyme acts on C2 and is fragmented into C2A and C2B. Then we see the C4B and C2A are the larger and active fragments of complement system. These two active enzymes join together and forms the C4B2A, that is the C3 convertase. Now this C3 convertase acts on C3 and converts it into C3A and C3B. The C3B being the larger and active fragment binds with the C3 convertase enzyme and we get the C4B2A3B which is the C5 convertase. Furthermore, this C5 convertase converts C5 into C5A and C5B. The C5B as shown in the figure gets into the pathogen membrane and recruits other three complement proteins like C6, C7 and C8. So we have now C5B678 complex in the pathogen membrane. Now we see on the surface of pathogen we have many C9 proteins. And these C9 proteins are to be incorporated into the pathogen membrane to form the membrane attack complex, that's MAC. And this work is done by C5B678 enzyme. This enzyme polymerizes the C9 proteins into pathogen membrane as shown in the diagram. And forms a poly C9 complex along with the former complement proteins. Now we have MAC formed on pathogen membrane through lectin mediated pathway. And through this MAC, that's membrane attack complex, the unregulated exchange of ions takes place, which eventually leads into osmotic lysis of pathogen cell. So this is how the lectin pathway of complement system is driven. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe this channel. Thanks.